Hi, I'm Colleen with Just Paint It. Today I'm going to show you a little preview of some classes that are coming up and um, it's called my BYOB and Paint. So we're going to, no, it's bring your own brush and paint. If you like, feel a little better when you have a little sip when you paint, be my guest. But what we're going to do is throughout the year on <clears throat> Tuesdays, I'll give you free previews, show you instructions, some tips and techniques about how I paint, and then the following week will be an actual class. And it will be live, just like we're doing here, only you get to be in the group, and you can see my painting, I can see your painting, and we get to have fun. So tonight, I just wanted to show you. I did this little birds on a branch thing, and this was floating around Pinterest, but it had a different uh, color around the borders. So I happen to love turquoise blue, and so that's what I painted. So that's what we will be painting next Thursday. Um, I think it's the 17th. I'll have to check the date on that, but I believe it's the 17th. So tonight I'm going to show you how to blend these colors. It's um, what I call wet blending, and we should be able to also do the uh, silhouette too, which is really, really simple, and I'll show you why it's so simple. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this and start with a blank canvas. Now, in the classes, um, typically students are more comfortable with a stretch canvas, which is where it has the wood behind it, and you can get these at any arts craft store, as well as Walmart and some of your, um, um, you know, even uh, drug stores have them now. Um, this is geared for an 11 by 14. You're welcome to go larger or smaller. It's totally up to you, but we can talk about that later. I use canvas so much that I buy it by the roll. So what I did is I just taped a blank piece of canvas up here. Okay, now as far as paint, um, what I use is regular craft paint, okay? And that's what I'm going to be using tonight. So basically all you need is you need some brushes and anything will work. It doesn't have to be a special um, artist brush. You need a palette, something to pour your plate. I use foam plates, okay? And so um, they're durable for when you're painting. They're really easy um, in terms of mixing your paint. Works great. So anyway, I've got my paint poured, um, got brush, got water, because craft paints are water-based, so there's no, um, you know, stinky oil or uh, smell to that, or no, it's not hard to clean your brushes either. Um, you can use for this type of thing, you could use your, you know, this is my trim brush, very well used as you can see. You could use that, but the bristles are a little bit stiff. Um, you could use a foam brush too. I'm using um, another well used, this is like my mural brush that I use for walls. And the bristles are just a little softer. It takes a little bit longer um, because it's not as wide, but it'll still work fine. Anything you have will work for this painting, okay? If you have a little um, inky dinky brush, it's going to take you a lot longer. But, you know, have a sip and relax and have fun. Now, about the only secret weapon in this whole arsenal of paint stuff that I ha that I use is I do use a what's called a floating medium. You could use a glaze if you have any glaze um, that you've antique mixed something that would work. Anything that extends the um, drying time of the paint will work. You can use water, okay. Um, it's just a little easier, and I use this, it's Floating Medium by Plaid. Most of the paint companies make them, so it doesn't have to be this one, but this is the um, clear gel right here, and it just makes it easier to blend the paint. You don't have to use it. If you don't, um, you just have to work a little bit faster blending your colors is all. That's it. So. We're already starting with the white canvas. Oh, you do need paper towels, by the way. Because what I do is get my brush wet. Always get my brush wet with water. 
and then um, otherwise the paint will dry on it and gum up your brushes which you don't want and then I just kind of get off the excess okay so you can either go from the outside with your darker color and move in or from the inside out um, because we're kind of on a short time frame tonight meaning that I want to get to the silhouette of the birds I'm gonna start from the inside so that it has some time to dry and as a matter of fact we already have a white background now if you wanted a cream or, or a gray or some other color um, that's fine too it really really doesn't matter and what I have here on my palette I've got white I've got I do have gray and it's just to kind of mute the turquoise a little bit because craft colors can be a little vivid so um, I you know if you want it bright go for it um, and then I've got kind of a medium turquoise and then I've got a deeper one so I've got that damp brush and I'm gonna dip it right into that floating medium and pick up some white and a little bit of gray and th this is not it doesn't matter okay and then you just kind of whack it on there now whack it that's a real artistic term there for you okay what you're gonna get used to on this painting is going around in a circle okay just because we're gonna be doing that whole border all the way around okay so um, I'm gonna come along with some gray you see how that just makes a little bit of a I'm not sure that I can do the whole well I might be able to um, get it pretty close in um, 30 minutes I try and keep these Tuesday night hangouts to 30 minutes because I suppose some of you have lives I have no life so this is what I, <laughs> this is my life this is what I do okay so we got great it is still damp okay so um, painting is just nothing more than the miles behind you the more you do the more comfortable you get it's that simple I can give you the tools in terms of if you say I can't draw you don't need to draw okay I can give you a pattern that you can transfer onto it so don't worry about that how wet your brush is how much paint all that that is simply practice like if you paint furniture you paint a wall you paint trim you know how much you need on your your brush it takes it just is the amount of time doing it that's all it is okay if it's too dark add a little add a little light okay so boring white and gray let's get into some color so I'm gonna pick up now when I say pick up I mean they they call it loading the brush okay they do call it that I'm just rather than dipping the whole brush and you can but I'm just doing like one edge and then I'm just gonna okay you see that now it's working its way into the gray and what I'm trying to avoid are obvious brush marks okay that's why I use the medium and then I pick up a little more okay if there's a little gray over here that's cool no no big deal okay you can even mix it all in there so I'm just gonna kind of work this so you see what's going on now I've got this whole big canvas to cover and you start to see the little uh, borders in between not a border but you know where you can where the colors aren't blended you just come back and add some more paint but again it's all a circular motion for this particular painting that is not like it's a method I'm just showing you on this particular painting now the cool thing I think and I'm putting some just some regular medium on here so that's why you're not seeing anything the the reason why I'm so excited about my BYOB um, paint classes is you will be able to do this right along with me and you will be able to if you have a webcam that's all you need is a webcam um, and a computer but um, if you um, want it's a live class it's just like this no one can see us it's gonna be private unlike this one tonight but you will be able to ask questions I will be able to see your painting it's pretty cool okay it's almost as good as me teaching it you know the craft store parks and rec like I've been doing for years and years only this time you can be in North Carolina or New Zealand you know so all right um, we're getting a little bit too gray there so you can add your turquoise in can you see that 
a little bit. Okay, let me come up here. I'm, I can't hear you, believe me, but I'm just kind of assuming you can't see it completely. Okay, a little bit more turquoise. Now, you're painting your rules. You get to make it as dark or as light as you want. You see how I keep working it so that there aren't any brush marks. Where you put the brush and where you lift the brush can leave a little mark, and that's why you kind of see, see right there where it will leave a mark. So you kind of have to lightly, kind of lightly stroke it. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this dark, pretty, God, it's just, well, I love turquoise, so, okay, there it is. Isn't that pretty? Sorry, I love my job. Okay, now, if it's too vivid, okay, again, I love turquoise, use it all the time, but for maybe over the fireplace or, you know, something like that, it's too much, I can just gray it up just a little bit, just add a little bit of gray and just, it just kind of kick it back a little bit. It's almost like, um, well, it's not like whitewashing. You could do a whitewash if you wanted, you know, if you wanted to really pale it out, but I like the vivid color. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. How are we on time? I have no one here. I'm talking. I'm talking to you guys. So <laughs> I'm talking to myself and making myself happy. Okay. Now, if you see that line right there, can you see between there and there? It's not too bad. And you could let it dry, see what happens. Because as craft paints, as any paint tends to dry, you know it can change just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let that so we see what we're doing. And then I'm going to add some gray over here. Do you notice that I'm not even rinsing my brush? Okay. Um, so if I get too much turquoise in there, I'm going to come back and cover that up in a minute. But let's get the lighter turquoise on. And then the cool thing about paint is you can always come back and cover it up. Okay, there's our dark. Okay, really, really simple. You know how the ombre effect, the um, it kind of goes shade into you know tone into tone into tone, and how that's really. I think it's it's a real popular trend right now. I don't know if you do, but I see it all over Pinterest and stuff. And so this is kind of a way that you could accomplish that, whether on a wall piece of furniture, whatever. You could do it same way. And for me, the key is you, you can use your, your varying um, degrees, varying tints of color, but it also helps to have that. You can see I've almost used all the medium. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse my brush just in water and get the majority of the dark turquoise out. I will tell you that most of the, not most, all the classes that I teach, unless they are a, um, excuse me, pre-recorded video, which means it's going to be more like a workshop, so it's going to take longer, but you can go at your own pace. It's not live. The classes like these that are going to take between an hour and a half and two hours um, with students, they are geared. I design, if you will, Lose that, use that term loosely. I design the whole composition of the piece for your success, okay? It's not like, oh, let me just, you know, throw this ombre border up and see what they do. No, it's geared so that you can um, come away with something in two hours that you really enjoy, that you're proud. Otherwise, it kind of defeats my whole purpose of hosting this class. Okay, so... Um, and we'll talk more about that, and you can look on my blog. It's in my sidebar, that my January classes. So I've got a coffee cup, um, which is just kind of a fun little um, piece to do, and a pink cupcake kind of for Valentine's Day. And then, I know I'm pitching a lot, sorry, first class. Um, every, the last week of every month, um, I ran out of weeks in January, but starting in February, the last week of every month is going to be a Santa's workshop. We'll do something Christmassy. So, 
if you follow along with me, by the time Christmas rolls around in 2013, you will have already created some nice paintings that you could, you know, reproduce or, you know, feel comfortable painting gifts, ornaments, you know, napkins, runners, you name it. So that's kind of my, my idea with that. Okay. So we are almost done here. And where are we on time? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Not bad, huh? If I can do it in 15 minutes, you can do this. Okay. So a little bit of dark paint, the dark turquoise down at the bottom. And the one thing I didn't think about tonight, well, there's probably more, but the one thing that comes to my mind right now is I didn't hook up my blow dryer. So this might be kind of interesting to see how this dries. Okay. Can you see that? Oh, let me get rid of this. You don't need my name up there the whole time. Okay, now you can see better. Okay, it starts to drag a little bit as your um, brush dries. So you can do one of two things. You can either add some more paint or you can add um, more of the medium. Either one, either one will work. And you see how it's all... Now, that look is okay. A lot of people like that where it's a distinct brush stroke. That's okay. But some people, myself included, like more of a blended appearance so it's up to you but as your brush dries out um, it starts to drag a little bit with your paint so that's I just wanted you to show that and again that's the miles behind you okay I'm gonna kinda let this go because that's pretty much it okay it's really fun now um, this is the way I do it like I said if you wanted to do greens if you wanted to do golds, if you wanted to do browns, you could. You would just need a darker, a medium, and then, you know, some lighter colors, either white or uh, cream, something like that, that, that coordinates with the colors you choose. And you can do the same type of a, um, ombre effect, okay? Now, so while that's drying, let's talk about um, the birds on the branch. Pardon me. Okay, so if you sign up for the class or register for the class, then you get the whole supply list, you get written instructions even though you're going to take the class because maybe you don't want to actually paint with me, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but maybe you wouldn't. So you're going to get the written instructions, but here's the key. This is what you're going to get. You're going, <laughs> I sound like an infomercial, sorry. <clears throat> you're going to get this handy dandy pattern, okay? Um, for almost everything I do, I will make a pattern. And this is why I said you don't have to know how to draw because you take the pattern and you lay it on there. And if you have what's called graphite paper, it's carbon, basically carbon paper, great. Then you can transfer it on that way. If you don't want to do that, then you take a pencil and you just, on the back side, you know, you kind of scratch it on like that and that puts the pencil lid onto the back side. So then when you put it onto your painting, you're going to actually have a, um, you know, a pencil that's going to transfer on that way. You've probably done that. If you're a crafter, you've done it. Okay, but graphite paper, if you're going to do any painting at all, it's, you know, not that expensive. Um, and I use it over and over and again. But so anyway, you'll get a pattern. That's why I'm saying if you want to do maybe an 8 by 10 rather than by 11, 14, or you want to do a 16 by 20, you just take it and blow it up to the size you want. And most of you, I would think, you could draw this and be fine. So don't feel, um, don't feel that you can't do that. Do you get the branch? Yes, you will get the branch in the class package. I just didn't do it because I was running around today. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of freehand the um, the branch just so you can, it's like not a big deal. Um, I'm using a dark brown, it's almost a black brown, and just so you get an idea, and I'll probably freehand the birds too just so we can finish in um, my 30 minute. It's my challenge my challenge to stay. Okay, so could I use this big brush? Um, yeah, but it'd be awkward. And my rule of thumb is use the largest brush you can because it holds the most paint 
so it goes faster that you feel comfortable with okay um, you know a lot of beginning painters like to almost like draw with a paintbrush and I get that okay but for this branch um, I'm gonna take because I have quite an assortment of brushes I'll take like a this is I don't know what this is probably a 12 or something probably about a 12 it's about half an inch maybe okay same thing with the brush first in water I'm dipping it in water now I'm not using glaze with this or the floating medium because I want it to be opaque I want it to cover so and I'm not blending it at all even though I still see some some uh, damp areas on the canvas I don't think you can see through the monitor but um, um, if it blends it's not going to be that crucial okay trees granted this is a branch is going sideways but think of trees as Y's you know the letter Y doot, doot. okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to rough it really um, really loosely okay so you kind of get the idea and I just kind of don't want it to be perfectly straight got to give the birds a place to sit and then okay so there's my main branch obviously I'll fill it in but just so you get the idea okay so now we're gonna start going into Y's why why okay we're just gonna take one little branch off and then it goes into a Y that's what I mean by a Y okay if you want to do a tree same principle And then you can do, you know, little offshoots off of that too, but this will give you an idea for tonight what we're doing. Now, of course, okay, or like these, but they have to think. Now, obviously right now it's going to look a little weird because that's really similar, but we're going to add leaves and branches and all that if we get, if we get a chance. I just want you to see this is like uber uber simple okay um, you do have to let the coats dry fairly well in between otherwise um, you wind up taking more paint off than putting on it just kind of scrapes so a little bit of a wiggle now if you go well, I need a, a smaller branch you you can either you can use smaller brush whatever you want to do but we'll get to where um, I want to add the birds so since these are silhouettes and again this is freehand and you know what I must do this I'm sorry I can wing it pretty much I gotta add my glasses okay um, we're just gonna do the little heads and then the body again you're gonna fill in and make it opaque and then we're gonna come down into a little bit of a tail we can clean that up as we go okay that's gonna be it and then when when that we will add more but I'm gonna get a smaller brush to do leaves just so you see what we're talking about so um, let me get to a place where a leaf is just I mean these are so quick so I just go ahead and I do my leaves and again I'll give you a pattern for the class and then you can come along and attach it to the branch just like that and we'll just add a lot of leaves what do you think think you can do this I think you can you can make the leaves bigger too if you want if you want if the, you know a bigger um, more dark that that works too 
Okay. All right. Um, so you get the idea of what we're doing. Um, let me show you. I'm going to, um, if I can figure this out. <laughs> Hang on just a minute. Um, I was going to show you. It's it's on my blog, which is just paint it. Um, but, uh, okay, here we go. This one, um, the birds on the branch, is next Thursday, and then the following Thursday we'll do a coffee cup. Again, you can choose your own colors. You don't have to go with this one. And then the last um, one in January will be this little pink cupcake. Okay, now let me see how do I get back to you. There. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. And I, um, every Tuesday night at six o'clock, I might, uh, uh, I will be here doing some type of a free demo for painting. Um, I might add some during the day. Um, cause I know it's hard for families, for people to get, you know, that's family time and I get that. So if you have a preferred time and date, leave me a comment either on my blog, here, Facebook, wherever you find me, just leave me a comment say, you know, this day would really look good for, work good for me. And if you, um, if there's something in particular, Easter's kind of early this year, it's March 31st, I believe. Um, so if there's something that you've been wanting to learn how to paint, let me know because um, I'm working on February and March schedules right now. And I'm, you know, if there's a way that I could compose it so that I, I always work for novice painters. I'm thinking about maybe, you know, over the summer that we can do something where we build from week to week, but that would be, you know, I haven't done it yet. So anyway, um, I hope you'll stop by and check it out next Tuesday or sign up for the class. Just leave me a comment and I'll shoot you all the info. Thanks a lot. And let's get painting and bring your own brush. Good night.